This is a short introduction to Easy Data Transform. It's only a few minutes long but covers all the basic concepts you need to get started wrangling your own data. Easy Data Transform is available for both Windows and Mac. This demonstration uses the Windows version but the Mac version has the same set of features. Easy Data Transform supports a wide range of input formats. Let's drag on an Excel file with some sales data. We want both the quarter one and quarter two sheets. An input item has now been created for each sheet. Let's look at the quarter one data by selecting the input item. The data is shown in the right pane. We can change various options about the input, including whether the data has a header. Note that nothing we do in the right pane will change the data in the original file. Once we have imported the data, we can modify it using a wide range of transforms. This includes transforms for merging, splitting, filtering, deduplication, formatting and analysis. Check the advanced checkbox to show all the available transforms, including the more advanced ones. A brief description of each transform is shown as we hover over them. To add a transform, ensure that the appropriate input or transform items are selected in the center pane and click the transform button. Let's merge the data from these two sheets, one on top of the other using the stack transform. First we select the items we want to stack and then click the stack button. A new data set is now created in memory with the two input data sets stacked in the vertical order shown in the center pane, quarter one above quarter two. The transformation is carried out automatically, no need to run anything. We can choose to stack them by column name or column index. Column name is fine in this case. If we want to find out more about a transform, we can click its help button in the left or right pane. Let's look at the new stacked data set. Some of the sales amounts have dollar signs. Let's get rid of them using the replace transform. We want to remove symbols in the sale column. The dollar symbols have gone. We're not interested in pennies either, so let's get rid of those using a num format transform. We can quickly check what's in the other columns by double clicking on the column headers, for example in the product column. Here we can see the number of sales records for each product. Once we're happy with our new data set we can export it to a file. A wide range of output file formats are supported. Let's output this merged and cleaned data set to Excel. We can click the edit icon to view the new file in a local editor. We can change the Excel column formats here. Let's add a note to remind our future selves or a colleague what this data is. Now we've got a clean data set we can do some analysis. Let's use a pivot transform to find out the sales per employee per quarter. We need to select the last transform and click pivot. So now we have the sales by employee and quarter, but we only have the employee IDs. So let's merge in data from a CSV file that has the details for each employee. Easy Data Transform has correctly guessed the delimiter and encoding for the CSV file. If it doesn't, we can change options in the right pane. Here we can see we have the employee details for each unique ID. Now let's join this new data set side by side with the original data set using the employee ID common to both. We can add the join transform by selecting the two items we want to join and typing the first few letters of join and pressing return. This is quicker than clicking the join button. Let's select the unique ID columns. It's called employee ID in both data sets. The two data sets have now been joined side by side with the top data set on the left and the bottom data set on the right. Let's sort the data set in descending order of total sales. and add a new column with quarter two cells minus the quarter one cells so we can see the difference. If we're unsure of a transform name, we can type keywords in the transform filter in the left pane. Calculate is the transform we need. Note that new columns are always added to the end. Now let's rename some columns using the rename Coles transform. 
The transform is already selected, so we just need to type the first few letters of rename Coles. And get rid of the employee ID column using the rename Coles transform. Then let's output this new dataset as a CSV file. We can change various options in the right pane, including the encoding and delimiter. Let's view the file in a local editor. We can go back at any time and change transform options and even insert a new transform between existing items. To insert a transform, just select a connection and click the transform button. Let's say we want to insert a filter before the pivot so that the report is only for product A. Everything downstream will now be updated, including the output file. If we change our mind, we can delete the filter by selecting it and pressing the delete key. If we set a file as watched, then an update will be triggered every time the input file is updated. If we have dual monitors, we can click the dual monitor icon to show the right pane on our second screen. Let's save this transform template file to use again. Note that our data never left our computer during this whole process. This is a very small example, however easy data transform is fast and can process multi-million row data sets. This gives you a quick overview of some of the many things easy data transform can do. We haven't touched on some of the more advanced topics such as JavaScript scripting, regular expressions, batch processing and command line arguments. Please have a play with a free trial. If you get stuck, check the How Do I Help. This covers many common tasks. Or post a question on our forum. Or email us. You can download a fully functional free trial from our website if you haven't done so already will only take a few minutes to download and install.